Okay, in this video we're checking out another FPV camera. Uh, this is the Mista. This is a micro FPV camera. Uh, the specs on this is kind of weird. It says it's a CCD camera, but I'm pretty sure this is a CMOS camera. It's a micro camera, 19 by 19. Your typical plugs in the back for power, and then you have another plug for your OSD controller joystick, which is not included. Uh, all you get is just the camera and uh, the wiring for power. Um, yeah, the, what's interesting about this one is it's not that cheap. It's like $25. And I think that this is basically a clone or a copy of either the Micro F1 or the SDR1, which is like around $20, I believe. And the SD, I don't think they make the SDR1 anymore, but maybe that was around $30. Um, it is NTSC and PAL switchable, but I believe um, it is a... Uh, 16.9 camera. Actually, I'm going to open this up here in a second and show you the sensor. Um, yeah, I, I can't plug this in and show you how the camera works to show you that it's basically like a Cadex camera because the menus look exactly like the Cadex camera. Uh, because the camera doesn't work anymore. Um, I got one flight on this. Uh, I basically, what I do with my camera reviews is I take it out of the box, I put it into my camera uh, quad that uh, records the DVR on board, so you don't get any uh, uh, transmission breakups in the video. And then I get the footage, and then uh, on the bench I plug it in and go through the menus and talk about the camera and features and all that kind of stuff. But I can't do that because this camera is now no longer turning on. So I got one flight out of this, now I plug it in and the, power, the camera won't power on anymore. So you kind of wonder, you know, well, what's the benefit of going to sort of these uh, off-brand cameras? They don't really save you a lot of money, and it seems like their quality control is not so great because, um, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. So I would I would caution you if you are looking into cameras. Uh, this one I think I would pass on, and if you're looking for something similar to this image quality, check out either the Cadex uh, F2 or the Micro SDR2. Those are the current production versions. I think the F2 is $20 or 19.99. It's actually cheaper than this, and it's going to give you a similar um, image, if not if not exactly the same. You can obviously look at the footage and compare yourself to the Cadex uh, F2, and you'll see that it's pretty similar, if not better. And yeah, um, you know, unfortunately, I think that these newer, I guess you can see sort of these uh, sort of off-brand companies, other than the big ones, like the big three, are going to be like Cadex. Uh, Foxier and Runcam, they obviously specialize in FPV cameras and they make a lot of them. Obviously there's like these other, you know, smaller companies like Mista here. I, what they're probably doing is they're outsourcing the same from the same factory and, and getting the boards and everything. So uh, if you guys, a lot of you guys aren't aware, um, there's only a, a handful of manufacturers that actually make stuff uh, in China and then other companies just contract out to um, get the, the boards and products made to their specifications, slight modifications here and there, so you see a lot of things that look very similar. So for example, Cadex, they definitely manufacture their own cameras, and Runcam is also another a company that actually manufactures their own cameras, uh, whereas Foxeer is actually one of the company that actually outsources to other factories to make cameras to their specifications. So I'm kind of wondering why you see a lot of like cameras out uh, from other companies that kind of look like the Predator is because it's, they're all probably coming from the same factory. Anyway, um, I digress. Uh, let me go ahead and just open this up here and I'll show you the sensor and then I'll show you the flight footage. Okay, so I just took off the two screws there and then this case little, case little pops off there and yeah, as you can see, it is a 16.9 sensor. That's what I thought it was. Now the reason um, I do know that the cam well, the reason I know that what that the camera menu looks like it's a Cadex camera menu is because um, I did plug in the run cam joystick into this and it didn't work. The Cadex joystick did work, and the menus look very similar to the Cadex menus, but there was no 4316.9 switch in this one. So that's why I'm thinking this is more like the F2 versus the SDR2 because the SDR2 series allows you to change the aspect ratio from 43 to 16.9 and I believe the F1, F2 does not let you do that. So I think this image is actually the F1 or the F2 image. Maybe some slight tweaks to the firmware, but this is definitely a 16.9 sensor if you guys are curious. But again, you know, as I mentioned before, I would recommend getting the um, F2 or the SDR2 from Cadex instead. 
Anyway guys, here's the footage from this camera. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.